annihilated by 50 points like the Memphis Grizzlies did. I think the Clippers and the Warriors being alone undefeated teams in the Western Conference, I think that speaks to a collision course that seems imminent. They don't like each other very much. You've got uh, Blake Griffin tra training with an MMA fighter to learn how to be more physical. You got Doc Rivers irking them because a reporter misconstrued his comments, talking about the Warriors and luck, you know, contributing to their championship that they captured last year. You got Clay Thompson remembering that. You got Sean Livingston talking about how Blake Griffin was unusually physical during a preseason game. And we all know that Chris Paul is not going to bow down to anybody, even though he can't guard Cle uh, Steph Curry because Steph Curry can pull up from 40 out, yeah, and no one can guard that. The flip side is, is that Steph Curry and those boys are going to have to guard Chris Paul too. So it's going to be real interesting to see what transpires. There's no question about that. And Doc Rivers is going to take it as a source of pride as well because even though he's the coach and he can't go out there and play skip, it is something to be said about the fact that Steve Kerr isn't there out because he's out ill. Alvin Gentry is coaching the New Orleans, and you got Luke Walton as an assistant on the bench. And I think from a prior perspective, even though coaches may not speak on it, you don't want to get out coached by some assistant filling in. <laughs> so all of those things contribute to how fiery this matchup may be. I've been looking forward to this for weeks. I cannot wait to see this game tonight. So the, the spread, as Molly said, is eight points. Do you think it'll, it'll be under eight? You, I you think, think it's going to be, be close? close. I don't Do think that, I, I, I think it's going to be closer than that, but I think the Warriors win because they're at home at the Oracle where they beat the Clippers the last four times. I well, think they find a way to pull out a nail. So you would take the points. I would not. I, I think I don't know if you want to call this a blowout, but I, I could see the home team winning by 20. And the reason I don't call it a blowout is they just, as you point out, they just blew out Memphis by 50. They have won their first four games by a combined 100 points. So they're winning by an average of 20, and I think it's at home. It would be average for them to win by 20, even against a Clippers team I have high respect for. But what's, what's going on with Steph right now is Brady-esque because he's on a mission, chip on shoulder, to prove to the league he was not a fluky MVP and that they were not quote-unquote lucky. And I don't think I misconstrued what Doc said. I think he was stating a fact. They got a lot of breaks because every point guard they played got hurt. And then, of course, the, the Cavs injuries in the finals. So I don't know if you want to call it lucky or not, but now, now they have new motivation, even as defending champs, to take it back out on the Clippers, their arch rival. Yeah, I think this is going to I think this is going to be a nail biter unless they decide to foul, foul foul DeAndre Jordan a lot and he can, and he shoots 39% from the free throw line like mm. he did all the last season. But uh, barring that, I think this will be a nail biter. Mm. Knicks Cavs Clippers Warriors tonight on ESPN. Larry Fitzgerald is with us tomorrow and thank you to Ja Rule.